Welcome to Thoughts on Thursday. It's Reverend Miller and Stuart Holmes. We're preparing for worship this Sunday, which is All Saints Day. And for me, one of the parts I love about faith and about church is really the mysteries. And I know for some, they want all the answers and, and to, to really, in a scientific way, have full understanding. But I kind of like a few mysteries here and there and maybe have things that kind of go beyond my understanding. And so All Saints Day is a day that to me is full of mystery. And as we look at it, every church is a little different. In the Reformed tradition, we believe in All Saints Day, but we believe that we're all saints. If that makes sense, Stuart? All Saints Day, all saints. Me too. Huh? <laughs> you too. Ooh. And so with that, what that means is we believe in a thing called the universal church, and there's really two parts of the universal church. The church militant, that's an old word, and for some it might <laughs> sound a little strong, but that's the church here on earth, trying to live the grace and love of God and Jesus, and also they have the job of fighting evil, and, and that's the church militant. So all of us here on earth who believe in Jesus. And then there's the church triumphant, which is the church of all those who have gone to heaven and all our loved ones we've said goodbye in the past. So that's the church triumphant. And we actually believe those two churches make up the church universal and are connected, that we're still connected with our loved ones in heaven. We're all still part of one body of Christ. And to me, that's a, an amazing idea and that we are to pray for those in heaven and those in heaven are praying for us. And so in a Reformed funeral, we would often have this prayer, and it really speaks to this mystery of the universal church or the communion of all saints. And the prayer goes, this is the end of the prayer. Seeing that we are surrounded by so, by so great a cloud of witnesses, enable us, O God, to lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and to run with perseverance the race that's, that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Keep us in unbroken fellowship with the church in heaven. Enrich our souls in those things over which darkness and death no longer have any dominion. And bring us at last with all the faithful in Christ to the eternal peace and joy of the presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. So that's that idea of us all connected. And so this All Saints Day, it is our tradition to light candles and say the names of all those who have entered the church triumphant this past year since the last All Saints Day. And we do that with sorrow, but also with joy and comfort and this knowing that we are still connected in the body of Christ. And so that's a mystery. And one of our hymns will, will speak to the mystery and sometimes not being able to understand that our last hymn, that is. And so, Stuart? Oh, we have such a great lineup for the music for Sunday. The first thing I wanted to tell you was about uh, the Agnus Day that was written by Gabriel Fauré. Uh, in his Requiem. We've sung the Requiem, we've had it with orchestra here, uh, but Bob is going to be singing uh, the Agnus Day with that, and the text is so beautiful, but I'm going to, as is the melody, I'm just going to play a little bit of that so that you can hear this beautiful melody take off. words are equally as beautiful. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, O oh, grant them, and here's the change, O oh, grant them rest forevermore. That's why it's such a perfect um, song for kind of our prayer of um, forgiveness. Yes? No. Yes. No, but that's okay. It's prayer of in our prayer for All Saints Day, as we, oh, this will come right, right after I reading the names and lighting the candles. I knew that wasn't right. <laughs>
But the other music that we're playing today is uh, Draw Us in Thy nice Spirits Tethered. That was written by Harold Friedel, who was um, the uh, organist or, and a professor at Union Theological Seminary. Uh, he uh, set this uh, melody to, uh, wrote this melody to uh, the, t the text that we know as the hymn. I love the third verse. Again, it ties in with everything that we're talking about. Listen to this. All our meals and all our living make us sacraments to you. That by caring, helping, giving, we may be disciples true. Hallelujah. We will serve with faith anew. So that uh, talks about just pulling us all together to worship um, and this particular Sunday around the communion table. <laughs> what Charles Callahan, uh, the composer, has done with this melody is taken just two snippets out of uh, this beautiful hymn, which I played at the very beginning. And every time you think, oh, here he goes, he's going to play the hymn, and he switches or plays it in a different key. Uh, here is an example. He starts out. Uh, our spirits tether and then he moves on to a different key jumps a couple of measures in the actual hymn to play the two themes. I'm sorry. And then he jumps to, and he just takes those two snippets and weaves it in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, a beautiful melody uh, for, for somebody who loves that hymn, I'll bet you we'll have some rebellion out there because they said they never played the whole hymn. What's wrong? But that's his right as a composer. So enjoy the music as well as the preaching. Yeah. You're preaching, aren't you? I am. Oh, okay. And you're playing the organ? As it stands now. Yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. So hopefully this is just a window into the service to bring more meaning. We hope to see you either in person or on the internet through YouTube or Facebook. If you're looking at YouTube and Facebook, that it's gonna be sometime in the afternoon because we'll record the service and then we'll upload it. We are we're just overjoyed to be able to celebrate All Saints Day and to lead you in worship. And, and I'm reminded of the Hyper Catechism question and answer one. What is our only comfort in life and death? We're not our own, but belong body and soul to our faithful Savior, Jesus Christ. So in life and death, we have comfort because of Jesus. Amen, and thanks for joining us. Mm.